Alright guys, so just quickly before the video starts, if you hear me referencing Echo, or like, um, uh, like desktop audio and shit, um, I removed it due to the Echo, so yeah, just ignore the references. Enjoy the video. Yo guys, Venomous Players here. It's another one of these videos where I'm actually using a mic. Um, yeah. A lot of people have been asking me in my streams, like, constantly how to get GTA 5. Hold on, let me pause this desktop because it's going to look shit on video. How to get GTA 5 on GeForce now after they removed it, so I'm making a video on it. Yeah. Um, launch Steam on GTA. Not on GTA, I'm a bit retarded, aren't I? Uh, launch it on GeForce. <coughs> you just want to do this. And yeah, wait for it to load. Now you will need to have seen my story on how to run anything on GeForce now. Now a lot of people are complaining about um, Unturned being stuck and updating. Um, if it is stuck for you, just you'll just have to wait till it's updated. And if it like infinitely updates, you'll just have to wait till GeForce have updated it. Okay. Yeah, if, if it's stuck on the infinite updating, I can't help you. Alright. Also, this video gets 150 likes. The general is a stretch for my videos. But, you know, I've got over 45,000 views on one of my videos. So, you know, like, 1% of them or some shit needed to like the video. But, if... 150 likes on this video, I will release how to save files on GeForce Now. Sorry if I've got crap connection, I am doing this over Wi-Fi, and there are other people on my Wi-Fi. Yeah, you all want to run unturned, but I'm going to do that, and hopefully it won't give me the updating thing. Please don't give me the updating thing. Please be good for the video and don't give me the updating thing. Hey, didn't give me the updating thing. Alright. So some people will get it, some people won't. The updating thing. Mm. Right. There you go. Now. You want to force quit once it you're on the loading screen. You have to do it twice. There you go. Now there's... Not that one. Now there's one that's got an icon. If your thing has an icon, you can then do it. Alright, sorry about the really low quality. Again, recording this on the Wi Fi connection. Alright, anyway, then you just want to go to Fbox. Oh, that's definitely the wrong way. Shit. Anyway, hang on. There we go. Firefox, you want to run it. You'd know all this if you watch my last tour. You will need it for this. You know what I mean, to get this and to get five as well. But yeah, anyway. Like usual. Set it to always ask. And get the Steam installer. Okay, so just come over to here. Install Steam. Install Steam. Save. Now. So, arrow here. Click it. Click, and then click A drive. And then drag it to the side where it says create link. Now you can right click and press format. Default size. Alright, it says label. Call it Steam. Okay, so just call it Steam. Press start, press OK, sorry about the echo about the audio, OK? I don't know if I'm recording desktop audio, so you might echo, it might not. Anyway, if it says it's in use, just press yes, it should format. There you go. Now, you won't have permission to save to this, but the Steam installer will. 
Now, save the actual installer in the Rockstar Games folder, same as I always tell you to do it, and run. Now, minimize everything except Steam. Come to here, browse, set. If your mouse freezes, just Alt Tab in and out, and it will unfreeze. Select a drive. Now, after the back forward slash, even just start. I think, yeah, no backslash. Type Steam and press install. Should give you an error. You have to be fast here. When I go up to Steam, press exit. Now, you've got to be really quick after this. Press exit now, press OK, and start spamming where next is. Because otherwise you'll get kicked. If you've got to this point where it starts downloading the update, you're good. You will not get kicked if you've got to this point. Alright, now you will need to re-sign in again. It will save your username, but it won't save your password. So you'll just have to retype your password. Okay. Oh, sign in. Now we're not quite done yet. Okay. Now we'll start with minimize. You just want to do this. Now this is unrestricted, but it probably won't let you download anything. It'll probably give you an error. And also, you don't have much space. So, add a library folder in the C drive. Oh, pixel thousand. Anyway, uh, program files x eighty six Steam. And then it's Steam Apps. Click on Steam Apps, press New Folder. It'll come up like Steam Library. You want to press OK, select. Now you have 267 gig. It's a bit better. Now, GTA 5. Press Install. Make sure you install it under the new the new one. Press Next. And. And there you go. Right, we'll start down there. Uh, it's not going to take two hours. It's going to take about twenty minutes. Okay, so I'd recommend playing another game whilst you wait. But don't play a game on Steam because otherwise it won't download. But play like some sort of web game or EXE game whilst you wait. Okay. But don't leave GeForce now because you'll get kicked for AFK. It won't actually take 25 minutes again. It'll take between 15 and 20 minutes. But yeah. But I recommend just playing your game whilst you wait for this download. Now I'm going to leave it on this screen and I'll fast forward it in editing. But yeah. And I'll be back with you guys once it's actually finished downloading. And again, I'm sorry for the bad quality. But yeah. And speed up. All right, guys, I am back. I'm not, I am back, but you are back. I am back. You know what I mean. Shut the fuck up. Right, I'm back with the recording. It has been de sped up. There you go. And you just play. You can choose online or offline. I'm choosing offline because it loads faster. Now, you will get an error. It will say your system doesn't require, does not meet the minimum requirements. Just ignore it. Or at least you might get the error. I did last time. I don't know if it happens all the time. But yeah, if you get the error, just press OK. 
it will still let you run it. Uh, enable cloud saves. But yeah, um, hold on. Let's just let it load. Now you do have to download every time, because, and I will, even if I do release the save method, you can, this, this is the error I'm talking about, just press OK. But yeah, um, the save method can't save files as big, because your Steam will stop responding when you load in, and it will not run properly. Also, why is the GUI so small? Um, this has never happened before. Okay, well, tiny GUI, okay then, anyway, but as you can see it loads, and I can load into story mode, and once we get loaded in, Again, I'm just going to speed this up, so you know what, speed up now. really any point in that speed up because you know it was like fast anyway. Yeah, there you go. Hey girlfriend. But it was. And I don't know what graphics settings it would have pre-applied. Quite shit ones probably. Because it thinks we don't meet the minimum requirements so just turn this up. To the resolution you've got set on GeForce refresh rate, yeah. and then you can turn everything on. You can set everything to max or high. Oh no, motion blur, ew. Motion blur is the most retarded thing ever. Hate it. Hey, okay, apply changes. Just, you can't restart. I'm just gonna restart just to prove that everything works, including all of this. So, yeah. Hold on guys, sorry about the noise. I'm just trying to cable manage quickly. There we go. Anyway, GTA 5, you load. So about the echo again, I'm not wearing headphones. Anyway. Anyway, I'm still going to load straight into story mode because it loads faster. And again, I'm just going to speed this up. So, speed up now. Again, there was no really point in that speed up, but I did it anyway. Hey, okay, but, uh, but look, everything works. Graphic settings did change. And yeah. 
Yeah. It don't look very good because I'm over Wi-Fi right now on a little Wi-Fi USB dongle thing. So yeah. The thing is, it does work. And for some reason, Franklin doesn't have any weapons in it. I don't know why, because I did have weapons. So, again, sorry about the echo during this video. Um, I'll try and reduce it as much as I can during editing. Yeah, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.